What a crazy month it has been, with gacha games earning more than they have in almost the entirety of 2023, which is really good to see. We also have a few newcomers and movement that I guarantee absolutely none of you expected. And while I've covered most of these games in detail, and I do urge you to go ahead and check those out, nothing is more important than knowing how our favorite gacha games are doing. Hey, my name is Six, and welcome back to another monthly recap of how your favorite gacha games are doing on a month by month basis. These stats are purely mobile and therefore do not include PC stats. They also disregard Chinese revenue for reference since full Chinese revenue is never disclosed. If you're interested in gacha releasing this month, new gacha to try out. I have a dedicated video exclusively for that that you can find linked below or at the end of this video. Now let's jump in and see how things turn out. At number one is Tower of Fantasy with five hundred thousand dollar. Wait, five hundred five hundred thousand dollar? No, no, that that probably doesn't even put the game in the top fifty. Yeah, that is, that is my bad. This is a very small, little, minor tactical issue. Number one is actually the Tower of Fantasy clone called Genshin Impact, <laughs> or at the very least, that's what they would love for Genshin Impact to be referred to as with $31 million earned and 2.7 million new downloads, down from last month's $54 million earned and 1.7 million new downloads. This is the second month in a row at number one after spending half a year in the shadow of Honkai Star Rail. And that is it for gacha games that earned above $30 million, which is admittedly very low. Typically we at least see three, sometimes four gacha games fall under this category, but Genshin was the only title to this month. Honkai Star Rail, unsurprisingly, retakes the number two spot from Nikkei this month, with $28 million earned and 1.6 million new downloads. This is up from last month's $20 million and 1.2 million new downloads. As always, when Genshin declines, Honkai Star Rail sees a spike upwards, and vice versa. I'm curious to see how Zenless Zone Zero will affect this formula. Interestingly, number three doesn't belong to Nikkei, Fate Grand Order, or Umamusume. Rather, Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Blade, a Japanese exclusive, has secured the number three spot with $25 million earned and 1 million new downloads. This is the first time Phantom Parade has ever been included in this list, and what a crazy way to debut. Fate Grand Order came in at number four with $25 million earned and 120,000 new downloads. This is up from last month's $13 million and 80,000 new downloads. Dragon Ball Legends comes in at number 5, with $23.8 million earned and over 1.5 million new downloads. This is up quite significantly from last month's $9 million and 1 million new downloads, and goes to show how popular the Dragon Ball intellectual property still is. Number 6 was stolen by yet another Japanese exclusive game, Puzzle and Dragons, with $22 million earned and 80,000 new downloads, up from last month's $18 million and 50,000 new downloads. This is quite an overwhelming amount of money considering the relatively small number of downloads. Nikkei sees itself dropping to number 7 this month with $20 million earned and 180,000 new downloads. This is a decline from last month's $30 million and 400,000 new downloads. Surprisingly, even Nikkei's largest declines keep it in the top 10, which really goes to show the power of Booba and Boudé, boys. That marks every gacha game that has accumulated over $20 million in the last month. Yeah, there were quite a few games above $20 million, seven in total, higher than most months. This by no means means other gacha games are doing poorly. On the contrary, many gacha games are still managing to accumulate millions of dollars and are critical successes. Before we discuss where the remainder of our gacha ended up, let me to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon. Your guys' support is why I can make videos like this every single month and I deeply appreciate you all being there for me. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle comes in at number 8 with $18 million earned and 700,000 new downloads. This is up quite a bit from last month's $13 million and 570,000 new downloads. Dude. <laughs> Akira Toriyama must be laughing all the way to the bank, seeing two Dragon Ball gacha games ranked in the top 10. Raid Shadow Legends comes in at number 9 with $18 million earned and 600,000 new downloads. This is up from last month's $15 million and 500,000 new downloads. Black Clover M comes in at number 10 with arguably one of the largest openings for a global gacha game all year. $17 million earned and 5 million new downloads. That is absolutely mind-blowing given the game just launched a little over a month ago. 
What an absolutely monstrous opening. Number 11 sees Uma Musume fall out of the top 10 for the first time all year. Not because it made an insignificant amount of money, on the contrary, so many other gacha games just made above $20 million. Nevertheless, Uma Musume earned $16 million and 30,000 new downloads. This is up from last month's $14 million and 30,000 new downloads. Summoner's War comes in at number 12 with $10 million earned and 80,000 new downloads. This is up from last month's $8 million and 70,000 new downloads. Every month I see Summoner's War in the top 20, but Summoner's War Chronicles, not in the top 50, even in spite of Chronicles releasing less than a year ago. This is every gacha game that managed to earn above $10 million. Yeah, there were five games that made between $10 million and $20 million. This is down slightly from last month's six. The following, however, all managed above $1 million, which is a sign they're still profitable, successful, and popular to varying degrees. Project Sekai takes the number 13 spot with $9 million earned and 300,000 new downloads. This is up from last month's $8 million and 300,000 new downloads. Diablo Immortal comes in at number 14 with $8 million earned and 300,000 new downloads. This is up slightly from last month's $7 million and 70,000 new downloads. Blue Archive managed a number 15 spot this month with $6.6 .6 million earned and 150,000 new downloads. This is down from last month's $9 million and 200,000 new downloads. At number 16, we have Heaven Burns Red, a Japanese exclusive that managed to earn $6 million and 30,000 new downloads. This is up slightly from last month's $5 million and 30,000 new downloads. Number 17 was secured by Memento Mori with $5 million earned and 90,000 downloads. This is down from last month's $7 million and 80,000 new downloads. Fire Emblem comes in at number 18 with $5 million earned and 17,000 new downloads. This is up from last month's $4 million and 12,000 new downloads. You know what, for a game that attracts such a low percentage of new players, it sure continues to earn a whole lot of cash. Azure Lane re-emerged into the top 20 at number 19 with $4.7 million earned and 50,000 new downloads. Given how free-to-play friendly Azure Lane is, it's always surprising to see it earn as much as it does. And finally, coming in at number 20, Atelier Reslariana, a newcomer to the genre earning $4 million and 70,000 new downloads. This is up from last month's $3 million, although I don't have any specific numbers for downloads from last month. Note, this is still a Japanese exclusive game as of January 2024. And that makes up the top 20 gacha games in terms of downloads and earnings for the last month. I'm sure some of you are as surprised as I am with a few of the games listed here. Jujutsu Kaisa and Phantom Blade taking the number three spot with 25 million just slightly under Honkai Star Rail. That was unexpected. Two Dragon Ball games in the top 10, color me impressed. There was a single game that made over $30 million over the last month, which is absolutely crazy. Seven, that made over $20 million. And 12, that made over $10 million, which are admittedly significantly better numbers. Tower of Fantasy is currently at $500,000 for the last month, its lowest point ever. Higan Arathol made $25,000 and still has somehow not announced an end of service. Neural Cloud, Girls Frontline, Tacked Off Symphony, Alchemy Stars, Artery Gear all continue to make under $100,000. Danmachi Battle Chronicle only made 120 k It has honestly been a fascinating month and I can't wait for the next month to see how the games continue to shift. Now, if none of these games look like games you'd be interested in, then I got you covered with two videos on screen right now that you should definitely check out.